G'day. Today I'm going to explain to you the three things your personal trainer must be doing in order for you to get results. Number one, each trainer or performance coach should be giving their clients an individualized training program. Here at GHP, each client or individual gets a workout book that looks just like this. It contains training programs for them to do in their one hour session at home or in their personal gym and also gives them a weekly training schedule, nutritional and supplementation advice. Uh, if your personal trainer is not doing this for you, for, uh, for you uh, then you can expect not to get results because this pretty much keeps every client accountable for what they achieve here in the gym. Uh, think about it as uh, driving your car. If you know the destination, you need a road map. So to get results, this is our road map. Number two, measurements and photos. This equals results. Each client here at GHP receives their own health assessment sheet. Uh, we record body weight, girth measurements, we do a full body fat test, and also a strength test. This um, allows clients to see where the results are at um, in the strength test. So, you know, an example would be a client when they start might only do 10 push ups. And then, you know, three weeks down the track or four weeks down the track, they might be able to do 20. So it just helps us keep the client accountable. Um, the most commonly asked question I receive here at GHP is, do I need to do my measurements and my photos? The answer to that is no. You don't. It's not compulsory. But if you know where you start, if you can see where you started with the photos and with the measurements, and I can compare it to where you're going, it's easy to keep each client accountable. Number three, nutritional and supplementation advice. Uh, if your trainer is not helping you out with your nutrition or your supplementation, then you're gonna find it really hard to get results. The reason I say advice is because it's not a recommendation from me to my clients, but it's advice on what they should and shouldn't be eating. Okay, each client here receives a nutritional diary, um, so therefore they can fill in their food for the week um, and then at the end of that we sit down and discuss what each client should or shouldn't be doing. Supplementational. Uh, it's very important for each client to make sure that they're getting their um, protein post-exercise so therefore their muscles um, will become anabolic which means that they will grow and increase metabolic rate um, and we don't want to have catabolism which is where the muscles are breaking down and slowing down metabolic rate. So supplementational advice is very important and you should be receiving that from your trainer. If you're not, then you need to sit down and think about why you're paying him the money that you are.